Francisco. That's right. Yeah, I mean, they can always prove me wrong. Um, and I hope and pray that they prove me wrong because a good, strong Pakistan is, is good for international cricket, but like the West Indies, uh, because there's national flair and talent. Um, but Afridi, if he has a good World Cup, um, you know, if, say, for example, Umar Akmal plays the way he's been batting, if Sharjil Khan sort of works out his technique a little bit uh, and in, in subcontinent conditions on those pitches, I don't think they'll be as demanding as the pitches uh, in the Asia Cup. I think Pakistan's batting can be just a little bit better. And, and if that happens regularly, then we know that they've got the bowling really to overpower the opposition. But it's, it's, it's so much 50-50. They're not the favorites. Absolutely. I think he needs a, a good environment. I, I think at times he's, uh, he's got issues here. Um, you know, he's had issues with the management also. He feels that he needs to bat up the batting order. They feel that he could be a good finisher. But you can only learn uh, the art of batting if you are involved at that, you know, either one, two, three positions. Otherwise, it becomes difficult for a young guy really to learn the art of, of, of smashing the ball in the last four or five overs. Because he wants to be a star. And the best, uh, I, I think now what he's delivering for Pakistan is the best I've seen because he's calm, he's in control, and he can hit the six, he can hit the four, he can rotate the strike also. So his, his, his form is massively important for Pakistan, but he's a, he's, a, he's a great asset, absolutely great.